In this video, we are going to see second PUC basic max, matrices and determinants. Under that, we are going to see solution of system of linear equation using matrix method. We are going to solve by using matrix method. Hey, suppose the equation is given, we will find the value of A, X, B. How to find the value of A means? coefficient of x, coefficient of y, coefficient of z and the variables and the constant. Then afterwards we have to find the determinant of a. The determinant of a is not equal to 0 then only we can find the inverse. We will take a x is equal to b, x equal to a inverse b. From that we can find the value of x, y, z. By using this, we will solve. X is 1.7. Solve the following equation using matrix method. If it is 2 by 2 order, how to solve? Solution. Write this equation 2x plus 5y equal to 1, 3x plus 2y equal to 7. The system of equation can be written In the form AX equal to B, where A equal to in this they are given two equations X and Y, so two by two order, write the coefficient of X coefficient of x and then write the coefficient of y. x the values what we are to find capital X equal to x and y we want to find that variable then b is the constant what are the constant given in this now Find the determinant of A. We are already we have seen how to find the determinant of A. Multiply this both 2 into 2 minus when we are multiplying this side we should put minus minus 3 into 5. Now simplify this minus 11. This is not equal to 0. Therefore A inverse exists. Now we can find the adjoint of A. We already we have seen previous exercise how to find the adjoint of A. In the previous video we have seen interchange is both. In this diagonal we have to change the sign. This is adjoint of A. Now find the inverse, A inverse. We know the formula to find A inverse 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A. 1 by determinant of A is minus 11 minus adjoint this is A inverse. x equal to a inverse b. Already we are written ax equal to b. So now we are written x equal to a inverse b. Write that inverse, inverse
then value of b b is given now we want to multiply this this minus 1 by 11 will keep it out we'll multiply this we already we have seen how to multiply take the first row multiply with that column 2 into 1 2 minus 5 into 7 minus plus into minus minus 35 now we'll take this and we'll multiply minus 3 2 into 7 so by simplifying we got this now we'll simplify this minus 1 by 11 minus 33 this is 11 now if we divide this 3 minus 1 therefore x equal to 3 y equal to minus 1 Second question, 2x minus y equal to minus 2, 3x plus 4y equal to 3. Solution, we will write this equation, 3x plus 4y equal to 3. When you are writing the question, write the question correctly. Then, the system of equation can be written as, the system of equation can be written in the form ax equal to b where a equal to how to write the value of a see the question coefficient of x next one is coefficient of y next x equal to x y b is the constant minus 2 3 now find the determinant of a multiply this 4 2s are 8 minus when we are multiplying this side we should put minus minus 1 into 3 minus 3 minus into minus is plus this is not equal to 0 therefore a inverse exists Now find the adjoint of A. Adjoint of A is interchange is both leading diagonal. Change the sign in this diagonal. This is adjoint of A. Now find the inverse. A inverse is 1 by determinant of A to adjoint of A. adjoint of A no need to divide this 11 now afterwards we will simplify therefore x equal to A inverse B write the value of A inverse A inverse is minus 1 by 11 1 by 11 a inverse 4 1 minus 3 2 b value
now multiply this we know the matrix multiplication 4 into this and 1 into this minus 8 plus 1 into 3 now we will multiply with this minus into minus is plus plus 3 twos are 6 1 by 11 simplify this minus 5 this is 12 this is equal to minus 5 by 11 12 by 11 this side x is there that is x comma y which implies which implies x equal to minus 5 by 11 y equal to 12 by 11 Now we will see the third problem. Third, fourth and fifth are 2 by 2 order. Already I solved and kept. You can uh, work out this and check the, whether you are getting the answer. Third problem, 4x minus 3y equal to 3. 3x minus 5y equal to 7. Change this. Find the determinant of A adjoint find the inverse and then find the value of x and y just for your reference you can check this you can work out and you can check whether you are getting the answer Now we will see the fourth problem. Fourth problem again in this is given 2 by 2 order. Write that equation, find the value of A, X, and uh, B, determined adjoint and inverse. You can try it yourself, you just work out and check. You can work out by solving we got the value of x and y we will see the fifth problem again it is 2 by 2 order by 2 order find the adjoint and then find the value of x and y you can try it yourself Now we will see the sixth problem. Sixth problem is 3 by 3 order. We will work out that. 3 equations is given. Same how we did. We will uh, do it already. We have seen how to find uh, adjoint and all in previous exercise. Do the same method. Solution. We will write that equation. X plus Y plus Z equal to 5. 2x plus y minus z equal to 2 2x minus y plus z equal to 2 the system of equation can be 
return in the form ax equal to b where a equal to now this is 3 by 3 order write the coefficient of x coefficient of x is 1 2 2 now coefficient of y coefficient of z this is matrix A now X we want to find a 3 unknown and then the constant the value is constant given here now find the determinant of A we are already seen how to find the determinant of A take the first one 1 so what we have to do means we have to leave out that row leave out that row leave out that column so what is the this minor matrix we have to multiply multiply this 1 into 1 1 minus minus 1 minus 1 is plus 1 already 1 minus is there alternately plus minus so minus now take this one leave out that row leave out that column this one multiply this both minus minus 2 minus into minus is plus alternately plus minus plus here 1 is there 1 so leave out this row and column multiply this 1 into 2 minus 2 minus 2 we are already we have seen this in previous video how to solve now expand this this is 0 4 4 minus 4 minus 4 minus 8 this is not equal to 0 therefore a inverse exists now we want to find the adjoint of a we already know how to find the adjoint we have to find the cofactor then we have to take the transpose transpose in previous video we have seen uh, the same adjoint many problems we did So now we have to write the adjoint we have to leave out the first column first row remaining we'll write it next this column and row next this value Now this two we have to take so leave out that column and that row next this value so leave out this column and this row next minus one leave out that 1 1 2 minus 1 now for this term
नेक्स्ट एंड द लास्ट वन Now we have written this. After writing this, we have to put alternately plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus. Now we want to expand this. You have to multiply this, and when we are multiplying like this, we have to put one minus and multiply. One minus two, minus one minus two, minus one minus one, minus one minus two, one minus two. Transpose this multiplication. We know just I written. Now simplify this. Simplify this, and then we have to take the transpose. Simplifying and taking transpose, I had simplified and taken transpose. This is adjoint of A. Find A inverse. A inverse is one by determinant of A into adjoint of A. This is one by determinant of A. Determinant of A is minus eta. Adjoint of A. Adjoint is this. Therefore, x equal to a inverse b. Write the value of a inverse minus one by eight. Write the a inverse minus four three minus one. And the value of b five two two. Now we want to multiply this term. We know the matrix multiplication. We'll take the first term and multiply with this. Minus one by eight, zero into five, zero, minus two into two, minus four, minus two into two, minus four. So first row and column we multiplied. Now we'll multiply with this. We we'll multiply with this. Five fours are twenty minus twenty minus two plus six. Now we we'll take this one and we'll multiply. Minus twenty plus six minus two. Simplify this. Minus one by eight. Minus eight. Minus sixteen, minus sixteen. Now we can divide this. Now we can divide this term. This is one two two. This is x y z. 
which implies x equal to 1, y equal to 2, z equal to 2. See the next problem. Seventh problem. This is given same like previous one. Same like previous one. Solution. equal to minus 1. So we got this values. Then the system of equation the system of equation the system of equation can be written in the form ax equal to b I will write the value of a We know that we can write the coefficient of x, coefficient of y, coefficient of z. x equal to xy, b equal to, I will return this, I will find the determinant of a. element of a equal to we know how to solve this 1 minus 1 minus 2 alternately plus minus minus 1 minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 so by simplifying we got this value 0 uh, not 2 not equal to 0 therefore a inverse exists we will find the adjoint of A. Adjoint of A. We have to find the cofactor then transpose and simplify this and write the term already you know so I read I'm writing this directly alternately plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus now simplify this We know to multiply, multiply this and then this with minus sign. Minus 1 plus 1, minus 1 plus 1, 1 minus 3, minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 3 1 minus 3 then the transpose simplify this I'll show the simplification then the transpose
minus 3 1 minus 4 2 0 2 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 now take the transpose for this transpose means change this row to column column to row take this take the row and write it as column next row as column this is a joint of a now find the inverse one by determinant of a into a joint of a we found a determinant of a as 2 a joint is this don't divide we will multiply then afterwards we will do it x equal to a inverse b a inverse 1 by 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 4 2 minus 2 b value b is the constant b value we took it from here Now multiply this. Take the first two row, multiply with that column, then afterwards we multiply with the next one. Six plus one. Of this term this now get this one by two four two four now divide this x y z is this which implies x equal to 2 y equal to 1 t equal to 2 we'll see the eighth problem this is given solution 2x y is missing so we'll put 0 y equal to 0 now 5x plus y plus 0 z equal to 4 to write the matrix we want for that all 0x plus y plus 3 is it equal to 5 instead of putting 0 also you can write that in A directly we can write it the system of equation can be written in the form Ax equal to B where a equal to a is the coefficient of x 2 5 0 0 1 1 
minus 1 0 3 this is a now we can write x and b find the determinant of a expand this zero into any number is zero so no need to expand because it is zero only next minus three minus one we got the determinant as one this is not equal to zero therefore a inverse exists we will find the adjoint of a adjoint of a We have to find the cofactor transpose. I'll write the values. We know how to write the values. We'll take the first term, leave out this and leave out this, and we'll write the minor matrix likewise. Five zero zero three. 5, 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 1, 3, 2, minus 1, 0, 3, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 2, minus 1, 5, 0, 2, 0, 5, 1, alternately plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus minus now simplify this we know how to simplify multiply this in this side minus sign we have to multiply then we'll take the transpose three minus zero minus is out Fifteen minus zero, five minus zero, zero plus one, six minus zero, two minus zero, zero plus one, zero plus five, two minus zero. Simplify this and take the transpose. This is equal to I not taken the transpose. Now take the transpose of this I take the transpose at root this is a joint of E now find the inverse We already found a determinant of A is 1. Five minus two, two. 
this is a inverse therefore x equal to a inverse b 1 by 1 is 1 only Six minus five, five minus two, two. B value B is zero four five. Now we have to multiply this. We know this multiplication. Now. Take the first row, multiply with that column, and we'll take this term. And we'll multiply next. We'll take this and then we'll multiply. Zero plus twenty four minus twenty five zero minus eight plus ten. Simplify this one minus one two. This is x y z, which implies x equal to one. Y equal to minus one, so it equal to two. By simplification, we got this. Let's see the ninth problem. Ninth problem. Solution. Four x plus fifteen y minus twenty z equal to three. Two x plus eighteen y plus fifteen z equal to ten. Again, the system of equation can be written. In the form, a x equal to b, where a equal to we know how to write the coefficient of x, coefficient of y, coefficient of z. X equal to. We want to find this, and B is the constant. We'll find the determinant of A. We can expand any one row or column. Expand in this. Six, fifteen into fifteen to twenty-five minus minus into minus is plus eighteen into twenty three sixty minus minus twelve minus into minus is plus so like that it goes sixty. Plus forty plus twenty five eighteen to four seventy two minus fifteen to two thirty. Simplify this three five one zero plus one two zero zero plus one zero five zero. By simplification. We get five seven six zero. Determinant of a is not equal to zero. Therefore, a inverse exists. Now we want to find the adjoint of a. Adjoint of a.
uh, to find and then you have to take the transpose we know to find to 15 the next one is 4 15 2 18 now we we'll leave out this row and leave out this column minus 12 25 18 15 now in the middle one take this and this 6 25 2 15 middle one and this one 6 minus 12 2 18 I will leave out this one minus 12 25 15 minus 20 next this term 6 25 4 minus 20 and then the last term 4 15 alternately plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus now you want to expand this expand this Sixty plus forty, seventy two minus thirty, minus one eighty, minus four fifty, ninety minus fifteen, one not eight plus twenty four, two forty minus three seventy five. minus 120 minus 100 90 plus 48 we have to take the transpose for this by simplification Thirty forty minus one thirty two minus one thirty five two twenty one thirty eight transpose. You have to take the transpose for this. Minus hundred. 42 630 40 minus 132 minus 135 220 138 this is a joint of a now a inverse is 1 by determinant of a into a joint of a 1 by determinant of a we found Five seven six zero. A joint of A is this. Minus one thirty two, one thirty eight. 
A inverse. Therefore, x equal to A inverse B. Now substitute the value of A inverse. 1 by 5760 minus 135 minus 100 40 220 42 minus 132 138 now substitute the value of b b value 4310 we already got We want to multiply this first row with this term and next like that we have to multiply 5760 next one One three eight zero. This is equal to five seven six zero. Simplify this. Divide this. One by two, one by three, one by five. X, Y, Z is this. Yes, indeed, ninth one. Ten, eleven, twelve. I have given the solution. Ten, eleven, twelve. Directly are given. You can try this. Ten, eleven, twelve. Take the transpose, then inverse. Find the inverse. By simplifying, we can find the value of x, y, z. You can check this. You can try and check up. Eleventh problem. Eleven to one. Question is given. Find the inverse. Adjoint. The inverse. By solving, we got the value of x, y, z. You can try and check. Up. Last problem, twelfth one. 
inside this determinant of a then we can find the adjoint of a find the adjoint then afterwards we'll take the transpose find the adjoint a inverse then the value of x by this problem we have finished this excess you can work out and check all the problems next excess we will see in the next video